Jordtail shearwaters are a native seabird. It's actually our most abundant seabird here in Australia. They're living this perpetual summer, chasing the food supply, so the most productive waters that they can find around the globe. Breeding down here on Phillip Island, they're actually shaping the vegetation and the environment of Phillip Island themselves. One of the critical things that we do to help protect species like short-tailed shearwood is, is do the research that informs management for the rescue program. We can use very small light sensitive geolocator devices, the tracking devices that we can actually map on the globe where they are, which is pretty extraordinary. By tracking their movements around the globe, we can link that to the environmental changes that are happening. Changes in the marine environment will certainly be reflected in the pattern of behaviour and breeding of shearwaters over time. Climate change, plastics contamination, but also fisheries in the Southern Ocean. As the global climate is changing, that can have significant impact on whether they successfully breed in that year. And the other thing that does happen is we get these mass mortalities in some years. We call them shearwater wrecks. What's driving that? Why are they dying in those numbers? We can see that this long-lived but slow reproducing species could suddenly disappear if we weren't keeping an eye on how they're going through the seasons. The Phillip Island Nature Parks and VORG have come together to work on this project collaboratively and we can then collaborate with other partners around the world as well. Combining our efforts together, we can do much more to really understand how do we best conserve this species.